thunderstorms are some of nature's most spectacular and potentially dangerous displays. They need unstable air to form, warmth and moisture near the ground with colder air above. As the warm air rises, it cools and condenses and cumulus clouds like this form. They can grow into towering cumulonimbus clouds and it's in these giants that thunderstorms develop. As water droplets get thrust up as high as 30,000 feet, they freeze into ice crystals which get bounced around banging into each other. Small and light ice particles gather near the top of the cloud creating a positive charge while heavier negative charged hail sits near the bottom. When the difference in charge is big enough you get lightning. A lightning bolt is typically only a few centimetres wide but it heats the air to 30,000 degrees Celsius causing it to rapidly expand and contract again, creating a shockwave which we hear as that clap or rumble of thunder. If you want to know how far away a thunderstorm is, count the seconds between the flash and the rumble. Divide that by three to give an approximate distance in kilometres. The longest lightning flash on record was 768 kilometres long, a mega flash that happened in the southern United States in 2020. Lightning also plays a role in sparking wildfires, Climate change means vegetation dries out quicker, creating more fuel for fires. And although most are started by humans, when lightning ignites a wildfire, it tends to burn a larger area. Global warming creates all the ingredients for more lightning. An increase in land and sea surface temperatures, stronger updrafts and deeper clouds. But it's not increasing at the same rate everywhere. In the UK, lightning strikes have actually decreased in the past 30 years, Whilst in the Arctic, there's been a rapid rise as temperatures in the region are rising three times faster than the global average. Did you know that there are about 100 lightning strikes around the world every second? That's 8 million per day. And scientists predict a 12% increase in lightning for every one degree the planet heats up.